All right, this is a video going out to the YouTube user Justin M. Perea. Just wanted to know what was up with my um, my sub channel, and I said I would do a quick video just showing him how I've got it set up. It's real simple. Um, it was all because I don't actually when I'm I know in all my other contextual loops and stuff in my videos I've never actually made any sub bases. I don't actually have I don't use sub bases that often simply because the sound is chopping every blimmin' split second, I don't bother with it. Um, and if I, I just mix it well enough sometimes, well, most of the time, so that it doesn't lack in the low end. But in this one here, I needed to use a sub bass. I was making this main sort of foundation bass line here. And when I was playing it in the rest of the loop, if I just take the sub out, Okay, I don't, I don't actually know if you can tell or hear well enough because of, you know, the sub bass, it might not come through the speakers on your speakers loud enough. But that sound lacked low end, and I needed to put a sub bass in, which is this one here. I'll solo it. I don't think you'll be able to hear it. I don't think you probably would have heard that. Now, I make all my sub basses with the EXS24 which is just the sampler when you load it up by default it already has a sine wave so I make all my sub basses with the sampler there's just a default um, sine wave which is perfect and I just play with the cutoff put the drive up a little bit and uh, that's all I need to do but in order to um, in order to make it sit well with the bass line I, uh, I use the exact same comp compressor settings so there's that one there and this is my sub bass I'm pretty sure anyway yeah I use all the exact same sidechain compression settings on both the bass line and the sub bass so that's that's the only reason why I've got a sub in this um, in this particular song just that one sound I thought lacked low end and it makes a difference too the sub bass is um, it's a it, this is a, one of my better ones, actually. I thought it filled out the sound really nicely. Um, so, yeah. Sidechain compress, compression on both of them. Identical settings. And uh, there you go. I hope that sort of answers your question or helps you out and what you're looking to know.